Hello, everyone. Welcome to watch the video produced by Creative Biolabs, who has extensive experience in various antibody production and engineering fields. In this video, we will study recombinant antibody definition and classification. Before we begin to introduce recombinant antibody, we'd better to talk about conventional antibody. Antibody is known as immunoglobulins. They are generally Y-shaped. Antibodies are peptide molecule secreted by B cells, mostly by differentiated B cells, called plasma cells. Basically the function of antibodies is that control and stop pathogens and to assist in an immune response. They can protect us against infection and intoxication by mechanism of action for antibody functionality, such as antagonism, agonism, or cell killing via a DCC, etc. The arms of the Y bind antigens. The tail of the Y is responsible for biological activity, for example, C activity or binding to cells. The antigen binding region, also called protop, is a small part of variable region, which recognizes and binds to an antigen. Each arm of the Y shape of an antibody monomer is tipped with a protop, which is a set of complementarity determining regions. It is short for CDR. What really important to know is that antibodies 150 kD are composed of two heavy chains, 50 kD each, and two light chains, 23 kD each. Each chain has two regions, the constant region and the variable region. The variable regions are denoted by the letter V, red region and yellow region, whereas the constant regions are denoted by letter C, gray region and white region. So as you can see on the light chain there are two parts. The distal part is the variable region of the light chain, and the proximal part is the constant region of light chain. They are denoted by letter VL and CL respectively. Similarly, the heavy chain is divided in four parts. The distal one-fourth of it is the variable region of the heavy chain, denoted by letter VH, and the proximal three parts are the constant regions numbered as 1, 2, and 3, denoted by letter CH1, CH2, CH3. The constant region is identical in all antibodies of the same mesotype, but differs in antibodies of different isotypes. The sequence of the heavy chain defines the class of Ig such that gamma, alpha, mu, delta, and epsilon heavy chains define the immunoglobulins of IgA, immunoglobulins D, IgD, immunoglobulins E, IgE, immunoglobulins G, IgG, and immunoglobulins M, IgM classes, respectively, each with a distinct role in the human adaptive immune system. The light chains are either kappa or lambda isoforms for all classes. Human IgA is the predominant class of antibody in extravascular secretions. They are monomer form in blood. The J chain is a 15 kD polypeptide consisting of 129 amino acid residues and one carbohydrate group. The J chain connect two similar conventional antibodies to constitute a monomeric IgA. IgD is an antibody whose function remains unknown, even though it is one of the main receptors on mature B cells. IgE binds through its FC part to mast cells or basophiles. IgE protects against parasites by releasing mediators that attract eosinophiles. The E chains are similar in size to M chains, except that D-chains lack the 18 amino acid residues for J-chain binding. IgG is the most thoroughly studied in all five isotypes, and recombinant antibody engineering is based on it. Human IgG consists of four subclasses, isotypes, 
which are numbered in order of their serum concentrations, IgG1, IgG2, IgG3, and IgG4. The chief distinguishing characteristic among the four IgG subclasses is the pattern of interchain linkages in the hinge region. The five monomeric IgM molecules are arranged radially, the FAB fragments pointing outward and the FC fragments pointing to the center of the circle. When IgM is a surface receptor, it is in its monomeric form. Unlike gamma and alpha chains, which have three C region domains, the mu chain has four. The five carbohydrate groups are in the CH1 and CH3 domains, and in the part of the mu chain where the J chain binds. Until now, I believe that you have almost no definition of antibody, its basic structure and function. Let me show you what recombinant antibody is. A recombinant antibody is an antibody fragment generated by using recombinant antibody coding genes as a source and display technology, delivering high reproducibility, specificity and scalability. Unlike monoclonal antibodies at break, no, let me show you the process of recombinant antibody production. As we know, antibody is composed of two heavy chains, VH, and two light chains, VL. Step 1, variable genes of heavy chain and light chain antibodies should be cloned by PCR and designed primers. About the detailed strategy of PCR, welcome to Browse the article of SCFV Library Construction Protocol on the website of Created Biolabs. By the recombinant DNA technology, link purified genes of VH and VL with prokaryotic expression vector, which requires select in advance based on your target recombinant antibody fragments. If you need SCFV fragment antibody, linker must be designed in your PCR strategy. Step 2. Transformation. Electroprot ligation product of VH and VL receive in previous step into cloned expression host cells. In this step, it is very important that highly competent of commercial source be recommended to obtain high transformation efficiency. Step 3. Choose appropriate antibody display technology such as phage display, which can screening small antibody fragment to obtain large antibody library. Yeast display, which make human antibody expression more superior, because that yeast expression system is similar with mammalian cells. Probosome display, which can get a library of a capacity of 10 to the 14th power, without limitation of transformation efficiency and acquire mutant antibody library. According to these above procedures, some recombinant antibodies can be constructed successfully, such as FAB antibody fragments, SCFV antibody fragments, and single domain antibodies. There are three common recombinant antibody fragments listed. FAB, SCFV, single domain antibody, SDAB. FAB fragment was originally defined as one of the cleavage products after treatment of rabbit IgG with papane, which cleaves the core hinge, resulting in two identical FAB fragments and the intact FC as products. The molecular weight of FAB fragment is 50. The FAB contains four domains. The heavy chain variable domain, VH length to constant domain 1, CH1 and the light chain variable domain, VL, linked to a constant domain, CL, due to the hinge region which allows for flexibility of fabs in relation to the FC, intact IgGs have proven difficult to crystallize in forms suitable for diffraction studies. And thus, to this time, only a few structures for intact IgGs have been determined. Single chain fragment variable SCFV molecules combine the coding sequence of the variable heavy VH and sequence of the variable light chain VL domains of an antibody 
in a single gene encoded format. The resulting polypeptides, with the variable light VH and heavy chain VH domains connected by a flexible peptide linker, were assembled into functional antigen binding sites. The linker technology is a key step of success of constructing SCFV antibody library. SCFVs have been developed as possible drug candidates in their own right, as well as components or domains of drug candidates. Single domain antibody stab is discovered in encamelids and nurse sharks that consisted of a lone VH domain lacking a paired VL attached to a constant region. The primary advantages of domain antibodies as compared with SCFVS are generally better folding and stability characteristics, the absence of the linker, and size. Compared with conventional antibody, recombinant antibody possesses some advantages, such as smaller size, monovalency, ease of engineering and manufacture, improved tissue penetration, no animal immunization, and broader biodistribution, as well as lack of potentially deleterious FC effector function. A particular application may include a smaller biologic that would have broader tissue distribution or the ability to penetrate tumors, a molecule lacking in FC effector functionality to eliminate both cellular responses against the target and potential for demerization of receptors due to bivalency, a molecule that can be manufactured in either yeast or E. coli to potentially reduce cost of goods or increase scale of manufacturing. However, there are some drawbacks in recombinant antibodies, such as lower antibody yield, highly training, an experienced technician. Most of scientists need to get them from outsourced companies because of complexity and intensive high technology of recombinant antibody production. Created Biolabs is a professional custom service provider with extensive experience in antibody engineering. With over 10 years of efforts, we have extended our services to over 26 countries. We provide recombinant antibody product, such as SCFV antibody fragments, FAB antibody fragments, single domain antibody, rabbit monoclonal antibodies, as well as recombinant antibody construction and expression services. If you are interested in learning more about how we can help with your projects, please don't hesitate to contact us at info at creative-biolabs.com or call us at 1-631-871-5806. We will be more than happy to serve you.